It may look that I'm like investing in this and that and, and, and I'm starting to like invest too much in stuff that I'm not familiar with. Like for example this genomic um, revolution ETF. But I've learned the hard way that um, you really have to during like a bull market you have to be generous and and, 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 and not critical and invest easily and um, that's going to give you huge rewards um, inversely during a bear market you have to be overly uh, critical and really say no to everything but during a bull market you have to say yes to everything and uh, I learned this uh, in the crypto world where um, I was very I, too, um, too uh, selective um, uh, in 2015, 16 even though uh, early on I, 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 I saw the opportunity in altcoins alternative cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin like I invested everything in one coin NXT and then some Bitcoin like I was 60 40 or so and, and that was my decisions during the bear market of 2014 and 2015 when it started to going up, up, up again that was still the case and I continued to invest more uh, Bitcoin in NXT and so this was my major position and the only position other than some BTC um, and that was a big mistake because <laughs> Uh, during that time 2015 I had the opportunity to invest in IOTA and I really considered to do that in the IPO um, which would have like tenfold, ten thousand, ten thousand folded my investment if I would have invested and if I would have kept on and I not would have sold it but of course I was not like I was not able to do that at the time even if I would have decided to invest I would still have sold off much earlier so so I also had the opportunity to invest in uh, Ethereum uh, ICO. I didn't do that, but then even when Ethereum launched in 2016, uh, I also didn't invest in, 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 the, in the exchanges into Ethereum. Um, uh, and there are so many other opportunities that passed by that I didn't uh, embrace by being focused on one thing. And um, that was a big mistake. Uh, the way to invest during a bull market is to just be like invest some in this invest some in that like yeah i mean that, 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 that without being overly selective um and then also to hold it eh? because you don't really know what's going to pan out and even losers may go up lots um, um whereas winners in the long term may go up a lot less uh, but like the, the right strategy there is to you invest some in this, you invest some in that. You don't be overly selective. Like if it looks good, it's fine. You can put some money in. Uh, if there are some red flags, ignore them. Like see them, but don't make don't make it you not invest in it. Huh? Um, uh, simply because um, uh, some red flags. Um, well, uh, even if it has some red flags, uh, it will still go up a lot. Of course, you need to do some selection, uh, but uh, uh, you just need to put your barrier a lot lower in what's, um, uh, what you accept as an investment. Um, you, need, you want to be greedy uh, and hungry uh, at the early stages of a bull market, uh, 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 like... Uh, yeah, that's just the right attitude. Um, uh, and of course, inversely, when there is clearly a bubble, huh? uh, this is when there is clearly no bubble. Uh, when people are skeptical of the market, many people think it will go down. Many people think there is no future in it. That's when you have to be greedy and, and, and not selective and invest in everything. However, when there is clearly a bubble and everybody thinks it's the best, best thing ever and it will go to the moon and and, and uh, people already became rich in the sector or very rich um, then well that's not what you want to do you want to become overly selective huh? uh, that's what you, when you do need to do the inverse like 
if there's a single red flag, kick it out. Huh? Uh, 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 because you're sitting already on major gains, uh, 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 you have to be overly selective because even the best projects will likely go down a lot. Huh? So ideally, you're totally out of the market and you even go short. That's what you should do, but that's not realistic at all. You all, and actually it's not true, like there's always a small chance it goes up even a lot more. You, you do want to hold a small exposure, but within that small exposure, you only want to have the absolutely best projects that you, that, 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 that are selected with the most uh, stringent uh, rules. But where are we in the stock market today? Um, here too, uh, uh, the, the opinions differ greatly. Many people think that uh, we're due for a recession and um, correction. And uh, as many people still think that uh, uh, yeah, we're going to see a serious crisis, a dollar crisis or... Um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, but, 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 but we're not there. Um, yeah, I made several videos on this. Uh, you really have to look at the long-term um, um, uh, performance of the stock market, uh, uh, and you will see clearly that uh, yes, it happens every 20, 30 years that you have a bad decade. Uh, but we just had that uh, from 2000 to 2010. So, um, so now we're in a, a good decade since 2009, and uh, and, and and very likely that's like 90 percent. Uh, or 95% I would say uh, probable uh, we will have another good decade and possibly even another two good decades for the stock market uh, and within that period uh, if you look back uh, I will link the video below where I do that analysis uh, yes you have from time to time a recession a, a negative uh, year for the stock market uh, but then you have four good years uh, so that's the pattern since we just had a negative year in 2018 uh, I believe that uh, we're uh, due for a breakout here uh, we're still going sideways in 2019 uh, actually we're up from the low uh, in december 2018 about uh, 15 percent or so but we're now at uh, all-time highs uh, if you look at the indexes of the s p 500 or so uh, we're at the all-time highs but we've been at the all-time house highs since the january 2018 so that's now one year and a half that we uh, have revisited this point so i think we're very close to a breakout and and we will see um much higher stock prices uh, and, and we see average returns of about 20 percent per year even 25 percent per year over the next four years uh starting in 2019 so uh, i think that's the most likely here uh, to happen and so this is a time to be um, generous uh, and to be uh, not selective and to be greedy uh, uh, in the stock market especially of course for companies that have been growing a lot in revenue and uh, gross margins but at the same time did not go up yet like Tesla for example uh, since 20, the past five years the stock price is still the same today $230 as five years ago but in the meantime uh, it has 10x it, its revenue and the amount of cars it delivers per quarter uh, it's all up 10x uh, so doing tremendously well so this of course for me a no-brainer a great investment but there are many other opportunities in the stock market and uh, and it's true that even during bull markets uh, some stocks won't do well for a while and then later they catch up a lot uh, and and then other stocks do very well but then later they go down uh, uh, so it, as it is in crypto uh, sometimes so, so certain crypto pumps a lot actually uh, and then the other market is all looking at this one coin like oh my god i wish i had that one coin it's up so much yeah uh, but then later it goes down a lot and it's another coin that pumps and, and so the right strategy is there to have a lot of these investments and when one pumps you sell some off and you put it in other coins that uh, have not pumped yet hmm? it's a very good strategy that i, I am uh, hoping to apply here in the stock market uh, by starting to invest in some other stuff too that is very different from tesla uh, and indeed i'm not uh, doing in-depth research on that um, uh, 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 i invest easily 
uh, because um, yeah, for me it's enough to, for example, in this case, I trust the fund manager that yes, it may, may be the case that genomic um, revolution uh, may happen that, that that some of these companies may actually start to see, uh, really um, uh, have a strong uh, hard uh, scientific evidence that they do are able to cure some important uh, diseases um, like maybe some some kind of cancer or some kind of blindness or or some kind of dia uh, diabetes that they are able to actually have do better uh, do better treatments than, than than the alternatives available today and, and that will just skyrocket uh, their valuations uh, and, and we'll see this this ETF go up a lot uh, and it may create a boom in the sector which we, we have not seen yet uh, it still all has to start uh, but when one company has that then likely another company will also find something and, and, and before you know it this team becomes a team in the investment world and, and, and people start pouring in money and, and, and you see like 100x multipliers on these companies that's a possibility certainly not a certainty or a I wouldn't even say it's a probability no I can't judge that myself but according to this investment manager uh, Catherine Woods she thinks it is a probability uh, she thinks it is likely that we will see this sector go up a lot that it is ready uh, to uh, really start growing a lot and it has been preparing for that for 20 30 years uh, uh, I mean, it has been a failure uh, for investors for 20 years, and that's what I like to see, uh, because that means that, yes, it might be time now, whereas before not. Uh, and inversely, uh, like I think with crypto, um, uh, we may have actually something happening that happened to genomic uh, uh, genomics um, uh, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. People thought it was ready to... Uh, to uh, I, to find great uh, solutions and to see great adoption um, um, in the medical world but it didn't happen uh, it, it wasn't ready yet and due to that well it has been a bad investment the past 10 20 years I think actually this may happen with crypto uh, this is not a widely shared belief at all today uh, people think crypto is ready uh, to take off and is taking off and it will go to the moon soon uh, but I think actually um, what's 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 what is actually equally possible uh, I would give it at least a 50 50 chance is that uh, crypto proves to be not ready for adoption and the adoption stays out uh, uh, people actually don't um, start really using crypto uh, and um, and um, and, and, and so as prices go down, you see that actually usage also goes down because most usage is from speculation. It's not from real utility. And, uh, and, and so all these transactions on all these blockchains well, just drop through the floor as prices go down uh, because people don't really use it for much else. And so uh, you can actually see with hard data in half a year, a year time that Actually, this is there's something seriously wrong in crypto. Adoption is really not there, and this may prolong the bear market, make it a lot deeper. I see new lows of 1,500 uh, for Bitcoin compared to 3,000 was the last low, uh, but also like really find a depression phase where it stays a couple of years at least in um, at these low valuations. Uh, and it takes a couple of years to see some real innovation in the sector that really succeeds in getting some real adoption where where end users that are not interested to invest in cryptocurrencies do or in, uh, start to be interested in using it because it has some clear advantages maybe we need to see some breakthroughs in, in how to secure your crypto safely without any hassles uh, uh, more user-friendly solutions there or maybe some like real advantages when you pay with them with merchants or, or, or mm, that, that you actually have real advantages there uh, compared to today's situation where it's only trouble to make a crypto payment or, or some kind of innovations decentralized uh, DApps uh, applications or, or or some kind of games that that you can only do with crypto and that are really fun for people 
um, uh, I think these kind of things may be necessary for the next boom to uh, reignite. Uh, and in the meantime, we go to a depression phase. Uh, I think actually this is uh, quite a probability here. Uh, that's why I'm really starting to focus on other investments. Uh, and I, I have a big position here, 40%, 42% today in Bitcoin uh, cash mainly. Uh, because this is like, when you invest, you really want, like the opportunity is only there where the, 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 the majority disagrees with you. <clears throat> if the majority agrees with you, there's no opportunity, it's already valued. But if the majority disagrees, like within crypto world, you have, of course, projects that are much better than others. These projects need to be either like be not seen uh, and that's small projects that very few people know and that may be like doing a great job um, uh, or bigger projects that are very controversial. And I think Bitcoin Cash is one where, yes, People know it, but they hate it. They, they, they think it's uh, the crypto investors, 95% uh, of crypto investors uh, or 90% of crypto investors, which are newcomers uh, since the last bull market, they all joined these people in 2016, uh, but mainly 2017 during the bubble. Um, and they are uh, mass market investors with mass market um, uh, ways of thinking uh, that don't really, I think, critically and and they just follow the the whatever the the the, the leader is saying uh, and um uh, there is a lot of um contempt for a project like bitcoin cash and 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 hate and, and 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 so this is a controversial investment one of the few controversial investments in crypto uh, and that's a good sign that means that there might actually be an opportunity in this coin uh whereas there is little opportunity in most other coins um, so so I do think like even though I'm actually really bearish on, 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 on the whole crypto industry uh, I think a project like Bitcoin Cash but also Ethereum though Ethereum what, it, what Ethereum is missing is, is, is controversy like everybody agrees it's a good investment that's not good huh? um, uh, within the crypto world huh? um, that's not good um, uh, but, 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 but if you look at the data, uh, yes, uh, Ethereum has been doing very well. Uh, of course, if we get a crypto bubble, then it will do very well in uh, appreciation. But even if we get a, a bear market, I think a project like Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum may pump. And of course, some other projects too. Uh, there are a lot of projects in crypto, but they may pump and may actually go up in fiat value, even if the total crypto ma market goes down in value. Um, but it's a may it's also all, only like a 50 50 like i'm preparing mentally to see some big losses on my bitcoin cash uh, position huh? uh, and even like preparing for that because i really need to buy more if it would happen if we do get a continued bear market and these quality projects do go down a lot in fiat value let's say they revisit their bottom of hundred dollars for ethereum and bitcoin cash then I really need to buy and, and I will only do that if I prepare mentally today for it to happen uh, and also like invest in other projects in the meantime so that my cash uh, 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 good projects so that hopefully my cash goes up in value to, to buy uh, if that would happen. So I'm, I'm in a very selective mood uh, when it comes to uh, crypto because I believe we're still in a bear market but when it comes to stocks I believe we're in a bull market and I'm, 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 I'm trying to be very um, uh, embraceive of uh, different uh, opportunities. Uh, and um, yeah, I think actually that the, 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 uh, so, so now that Tesla is going up, uh, I'm able to buy other assets and I'm now buying this genomic uh, revolution ETF. I think there's a very good chance that uh, both go up a lot. Um, and, and so uh, that I buy this, uh, uh, Arc G uh, fund and um, it um, it also goes up a lot together with Tesla and 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 and, and allows me to invest in even more other stuff. Um, I think that's the most likely to happen. Um, and there is a small chance that we do get a recession, uh, that it goes down, both of them, and that I'm getting liquidated. Of course, that's a chance that I'm taking. But then, then I think I'm still better off in 
starting to build another position next to Tesla than not doing this at all because um, even if you get a recession something small a small sector like this genomics uh, sector even during a recession it can like see breakthroughs and it can see some shares pump a lot and so the, the overall value of this fund may go up even during a recession if there are some breakthroughs there and that may actually save my uh, stock portfolio even during a recession but um, but I would say that um, I, I am betting big here uh, not on a recession because uh, I will probably lose a lot due to the leverage I'm, I'm using um, I'm really betting here on a on a um, on good times uh, that uh, we will have see good times uh, for the stock market and this normally also means good times for crypto uh, but not per se huh? uh, the genomics uh, team is a good example actually we see we saw good times in the stock market since 2009 but not in this uh, this industry the genomics industry did not go up um, I, this fund went up 100% over the past five years, but I think if you start counting from 2009, um, not much has happened there. And I think during good times, uh, some, 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 some innovations, some sectors may just not pan out. And I, I really think that uh, is, is probable uh, for crypto. So even though uh, we see good times and uh, that crypto uh, will be lagging the next year, but we'll see. Thanks for watching.